How's it going, guys? It is me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to week seven of the Pokemon Premier League. This week, we're up against Jay Ricky, who is the coach of the Gigaton Hammers. I can't remember what his record is before this game, um, because I'm posting this. Sorry, I'm recording this post game. Um, but going into this game myself, I know I am at free, free. Uh, four through put me in a really commanding position to get into playoffs. Four, four is possibly going to be enough. It's all going to come down to kill differential. So if I win this game, I've got to try and make sure that I win it as, as big as I can. Or if I am going to lose, I need to try and mitigate how bad that loss is. Um, it's going to be a really tough matchup as you're about to see this week, but we'll do what we can. So looking at Ricky's team this week, uh, we can obviously see he has the Gouging Fire, the Manaphy, the Tinglu, the Sliver Wing, the Clef Key, the Azelf, which was actually on my team once upon a time, but it, it never made an appearance because I got rid of it week one. Um... The Cyclers are the Miss Magius, which is a Terra Captain, the Nine Tails, the Victory Bell, which is a Terra Captain, and the Clefairy. Looking at the team that I've got here, I shouldn't be on a Shifu yet, I should be on Brian. Um, we are running Agility because Stone Axe X is Andrew Wing Beat, damage his whole team like super effective outside of Clefairy, uh, which won't want to take a Stone Axe. Cyclers are, which won't want to take an X Scissor or a Stone Axe. Um, Clef Key is the main issue. Manaphy, even like, I'm expecting an offensive Manaphy, so even if I can just get some chip on that Manaphy, X Scissor does like 70%. So, this thing's got really great potential for late game, and Sliverwing is definitely coming, I just don't know if it's in a defensive or an offensive way. Uh, next up is the uh, Shifu. I'm running Close Combat, Wicked Blow, Acrobatics, and Sucker Punch. Eject Pack, Close Combat, is the kind of tech I've brought for a potentially defensive Iron... No, nope, not Iron, uh, Sliverwing, because um, it could very well be his check for uh, Shifu because it tanks its hits really well. Um, otherwise, Jack Pack Close Combat on the Clef Key is incredibly free because he cannot Thunder Wave me because I'm a Dark type and Prankster won't work. If he's not Prankster, he'll be slower than me. So I'm pretty much free from being paralyzed. Um, so in a weird way, uh, Shifu is like my switching <laughs> to, to the Clef Key. Um, Sucker Punch is just really nice to have some late game priority, should Gouging Fire get out of control, um, should potentially Scarfed uh, Sliverwing be really weak and just be like so close to being dead. Um, he's just got a lot of speed in his team, uh, so it helps a lot as Elf as well, for example. He could also bring a Chlorophyll Sweeper in Victory Bell, so again, Sucker Punch helps there. Um, it's just a good hard-hitting mon uh, this week, so that's why Ashif is here. Next is Iron Moth, which is... You might look at his team and think, God, he's got Ting Lu, he's got uh, Manaphy. But he has also got Sun. Um, and this thing in Sun, if he doesn't want to bring it, is absolutely terrifying to him. I'm Lumberry because I very much expect to want to click T-Wave against this thing with the Clef Key. So if I can get any chip uh, or just kill that thing with a Fiery Dance and come out without a, a Paralysis... This thing hits everything on his team really hard. The only thing that outspeeds is Azelf, um, which he might bring. Um, Cyclers Arm, which I don't think would really be able to kill my Iron Moth. Um, that's about it, really. Um, I think everything else would die or take a huge hit from a plus one if I do get the Fiery Dance boost. So, um, yeah, it's just hit it hard. Toxic for the early game. Uh, Ting Lu is going to be a switch in. I'm adamant Ting Lu is a switch into this thing. Could be Manaphy as well, but a Toxic on either of those. Or Gouging Fire as well could be a switch in. If I land a Toxic on any of those three, I'll be really happy. Um, otherwise, everything else just takes a lot of damage from any moves that I click. Sludge Wave, Energy Bolt, Fiery Dance cover his team really well. Next up is Dino Dave. We are bringing Choice Specs because raw power of like Ice Beam or something against this team, uh, or Freeze Dry, is really good. Um, obviously, Gouging Fire... Is, is it uh, neutral to freeze dry? Manaphy is weak to it. The Ting Lu is weak to it. Sliverwing is neutral and also a Sliverwing. Uh, you've got Clef Key, which is probably Kieran's hardest answer, but I do get Earth Power, so he's got to be considerate of that. Uh, Azelf is Azelf, it's frail. Cyclozar is obviously weak to it. And then I think, other than Nine Tails, the rest will take quite a lot as well. So I'd, every time this thing comes in, I click freeze dry basically. I don't have to worry about too many other moves, maybe Earth Power if I need to do predictions. Um, but yeah, it's just it's here to hit hard and punch holes, basically. Next is Special Defensive Shaman with Terra Fire, uh, just in case I need to do mind games with the Manaphy. 
but I am Yachi Berry, and this allows me to live a plus three Ice Beam from Manaphy quite easily, and I can then hit back with a Seed Flare, which will then put it in range of Energy Ball from Iron Moth. Um, or if he's not speedy, then anything else really. Um, Seed Flare, Synthesis, Earth Power, and Baton Pass. Baton Pass is really cool because it'll allow me to get momentum. Um, he's got a few things which Shaman does well against. So you've got the Ting Lu, you've got the Manaphy, it does okay against Klefki. Um, the Terrify is also there, obviously, to help against like the Victory Bell if that comes. Um, like I said, I want to be weak to the poison moves. So it's got a good role. It's just here to be fat, basically. Um, Synthesis could be great in the sun, so I don't need to worry about like Leech Seed or Leftovers or anything like that. So it's just here to be a nuisance, basically. Um, and Terrify also helps me with Gouging Fire a bit as well. Finally, next up, we have the Gastrodon. Now, I say this is my check to Gouging Fire. Choice Band, Gouging Fire, like Heat Crash in the sun does like 70% to max defense Gastrodon, which is hideous. Um, but... I have to bring it because it's my best my best answer, um, and it also has clear smog, so I can use it to get rid of dragon dancers. Because even at like plus two, it doesn't do a huge amount. Its best move will be like earthquake, unless the sun's up, then obviously fire moves will hurt. We've got earth power spikes, recover clear smog. Uh, I mean, it does mean I'm vulnerable to Azelf. Um, I can't really touch it other than clear smog. Azelf obviously gets an energy ball, but it could also click its other special move now to get some special attack boosts. So uh, that could be scary too. Otherwise, Clear Smog's just really nice. It's obviously risky bringing it against a team that's also got Victory Bell, but otherwise, he's not really got a lot. It could really help against the Sliver Wing, um, and it's obviously really good against the Gouging Fire. Also, could potentially help a bit with the Ting Lu. Um, if I can get Spikes up, his only removal is Cyclas R, and I don't expect Cyclas R to come because its um, matchup this week is awful against me. Like, it's weak to. I'm gonna look. I mean, it's not weak to Moth, but it's not gonna take a lot of damage from Moth. Again, same with Shaman. It's weak. It's weak to Ashifu, weak to Kyurem, uh, weak to Gardevoir, <laughs> um, and I have got Terra Greedent, so he could potentially also fear that too, Terra Fairy. So not the best. So I think Hazard Stack is the way to go, and then just kind of bulking as much as I can, and then going for like an end game with um, with Iron Moth uh, or potentially the Cleavor is the way here. So let's see how the battle goes. Okay, we are here for the penultimate week of the PPL Season 2, running at a 3-3 free free, uh, uh, win-loss at the moment, so we've really got to try and win this week and the last week next week. That didn't make much sense. Um, we're against Ricky here, and the team name which I've forgotten, the Gigaton Hammers, something to do with Gigaton Hammers. Uh, I'm not very confident at all, this man has Gouging Gary. Uh, this man has Ting Lu, this man has Manaphy, this man has all of the threats. Um, so let's just go into the battle, let's search. Um, let's go for the Paradise Protection Protocol, because that worked so well for me last week, uh, where I got completely destroyed by Entei. Alright, let's get the notes taken down. What has he got? He's going to have Manaphy, he's going to have Garage and Fire, yeah. So he's got Gary, he's got Ting Lu, he has got the keys. Uh, he did bring uh, the moth thing. He brought the nine tails and he brought Manaphy. So, <clears throat> I did think he might bring defensive. I've forgotten what the moth is called. I'm going to call it moth thing. Uh, and here, nine tails. And the uh, Manaphy. So, nice thing here is he doesn't have a close combat switch in at all. And he doesn't have a great answer to Kyurem either, outside of Klefki. So, um, what Terra am I on Shaman again? Did I bring Terra Fire? I bought Terra Fire. I have got Baton Pass on there too. So actually, um, once Klefki goes, an agility, so all I need is Klefki to die, chip on Manaphy, and Cleaborg can kind of win. Um, neither of us have hazard removal, so I could go for rocks turn one, also get a, look to get a U-turn. Might lead with the, uh, I'm going to lead Cleavor, I think. It breaks well, um, I don't have U-turn though, so this could be a problem. Um, we'll go with this, I didn't really plan, well, sorry, when I built this team, oh, did Ricky run out of time there? When I built this team, it was about a week and a half ago. 
Um, <laughs> we were meant to play on Monday, but Ricky uh, set up the competition at the wrong time because he had the wrong time zone set on his Switch. So when we were meant to play on Monday, we didn't. And I haven't looked at the team since, so I've kind of forgotten what the whole plan was. So he's gone for the Klefki. Interesting. So if Klefki goes down, do I make the prediction and go into the... Um, do I make the prediction into this thing? I don't think he clicks a fairy move here, does he? Is that too risky too early? He's not balloon, which is good, which means he doesn't war Gastrodon. Um, do I go moth on this thing? I am lumberry. I'm going to make the aggressive play turn one. I don't think he goes for a fairy move here. I am a dark type, so I can, you know, prevent prankster stuff. If he clicks play rough here, then good splash can. That's fine. Um, he can't prankster me here, so I'm going to click close combat because it's free. I have got the eject pack. If he goes into the sliver wing, that's what it's called. Um, I'll call it sliver wing. Here, um, I have got acrobatics in this thing, so acrobatics is then going to be boosted. If it is a defensive one, that is. Um, so sliver wing is what it's called, nine thousand man feet. And this thing isn't called keys, it's called play. So we are going to do a load of damage to that thing. I think this means Moth can come in for free. Uh, he's Rocky Helmet. Okay, good to know. We're going to eject Puck out, so we're not going to get hit by the player up. And then... Do we go into Moth? Does he then... The thing is, if I go Moth, it, it then creates a 50-50 for me to go for a Toxic or a Fiery Dance on Ting Lu. If I go Gastrodon... I can kill the Sing of Earth power. What does it bring in? Manaphy, maybe? Um, Moth is only really useful for this thing. So I'm going into Moth. He's going to click a fairy move. He's got to. He's not prankstering me. He's got Thunder Wave or Spikes, and that's fine. He goes Flash Cannon again. Interesting. That does no damage whatsoever. I am Lum, so if he wants to click the Thunder Wave button on me, that's fine. Do I click Fiery Dance here? Thing is, if he goes into Ting Lu, what do I go into? Do I go into uh, Gastrodon, or do I go into something else? He's got answers to this thing. Um, he could go Gouging Gary, or he could find Gouging Gary. But this, once this thing goes, once this thing goes, and we get Chip on Manaphy, as long as Manaphy doesn't set up on me, I'm going to pick Toxic. He switches. He switches. Yes, he switches. Okay, so he goes Ting Lu or Gary. One of the two. We've got to go Ting Win. He goes Ting Lu. Perfect. Do not. I can't miss. Can't miss the Toxic. So that's lovely. So we do land the Toxic on this thing. Um, we can't afford to go into Gastrodon. Gastrodon has to stay healthy for the. What's it called? Um, Gastrodon has to stay healthy, he could click a ground move here, I have got a special defensive Shaman, which I could baton pass out from, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, I have got Synthesis, so the, the, this thing hasn't got any recovery either, which is fantastic. I wonder if it's AV. Um, so I go Shaman. Could be a risky play, because Shaman is the um, only answer I have to Manaphy, really. So I just have to make sure I keep it healthy. It does potentially also let Gary in, which is terrifying. Um, does he click Ruination here? Maybe? Oh, I think I just click Synthesis. So he withdraws. What does he go into? Does he go into Gouging Fire here? Hi, Moppy. What's that thing? Yeah, he goes Gouging Gary. Um, I am going straight into Videl Gastro, and I am going to click the Clear Smog button. Um, I am leftovers, I wish I was kind of like Rocky Helmet at this point. So he's called it High Moffy, is this his Moth answer? Like, I am Terrifier on this, but I don't want to Terrifier because this is my answer to Shaman. Terrifier is there for mind games. Uh -huh. 
If I do kill the Shaman though. Hmm. If I had clicked Sludge Wave there, that would have been... I mean, I had no reason to really do that, but... I go into... I go into Gastrodon every time. It's max defense, like, I don't even want to do the calcs, like a plus one outrage, a banded outrage. That might do a lot of damage to me. God, this thing is terrifying. Um, if I can set up spikes, then this is going to be fantastic. Clefki can He picked Earthquake. How much does that do? Is that banded? I don't know if it's banded, but it doesn't do a lot. Um, so you are... Gouging Gary. Uh, gouging Fire. Are you banded? Earthquake to my... Um, Gastron. Done 30. So, he's not banded. He's not choice banned. Is this a free spike? I think it might be a free spike. He withdraws. Okay, so it's a free spike. This is good. What do you go into? He goes into Firefly, which is the Manaphy. So we do set up a spike. If he's tail glow, then I'm gonna shit myself, because that is my worst fear. I am max special defense Yachi Berry on my Shaman. If he goes straight Ice Beam for the read, fair enough. Um, I just cannot have Sea Flare miss. I cannot have Sea Flare miss. Uh, even if he gets to... Um, if he goes Ice Beam here, he is Tail Glow. So, Ice Beam doesn't kill me. Uh, I just cannot, I cannot miss Seed Flare. Cannot miss. Seed Flare does 76 to 90 here. I'm just clicking it. Just 15% chance. I can't get swept again from, uh, like, like a misplay again. Just I can't take the hats, you know. I have got the Yachi. He might be thinking I'm going to Terra here. Maybe. Um, he could go into the Gouging Fire, which is fine. Um, you know, his Tail Glow. He withdraws. Okay, so I could have baton passed maybe there. But does he go into? He goes to Ash. What is this? What is this? Is Nine Tails? Okay. So this thing is a problem. This thing could be a bit of a problem. Um, do I go Moth? I don't know if Moth does much for me anymore. <sighs> what does more here for me? Moth could help Sliver with Sliverwing. More so than Curem does. Um, what is the base speed on this? It's 100, isn't it? I think for Nine Tails. I don't know if it took boots. I wasn't paying that much damage. Uh, damage attention. It is base 100, so it's going to outspeed Kyurem. What if I go Kyurem here? So Flamethrower could do over half. If I go Iron Moth, it'll do 28. I'm gonna go Moth if he predicts this by clicking a Psychic move. Fair play, but I can't have Shaman taking damage. The more I chip this thing down, the better. Um, Tom passes. Mm. What's he gonna go into? Thing is here, right? Don't know if he has a lot that he can actually safely go into. Clefty will die. Gouging Gary is going to take a spike and will take a sludge wave if I decide to. Tinglu, while it walls me, it's going to take chip if it's not boots. Um, Clefty can try and find a wave me if it wants, or set up a spike if I can kill it. Sliverwing is the only thing here. So he goes Ting Lu. He goes Ting Lu. Are you boots? You're not boots. Okay. 
So, how much does Fiery Dance do to Let's just say your max special defense. In the fire, Fiery Dance does a whole... Oh, no, wait, that's not in the sun. In the sun, does 25 to 30%. Which is a nice chip, but I think I go Dino Dave. Because I think Dino Dave is my most expendable mon. And also, he just doesn't switch into it now. He doesn't switch in to uh, a freeze dry or an ice beam at this point. Because Clefty's damaged, Nine Tails will not appreciate it. Like, Manaphy could appreciate it, but you know. Um, he might think I am like a setup set. So, I think how much does Choice Specs Cure do? 53 to 63, if he's maxed for death, he could be AV, but he might be thinking that I'm gonna like Dragon Dance or something on him. Freeze Drive is 42 to 49. Does he want to go into Klefki? Klefki will take Spike's damage and probably die. Um, Slivering won't want to take it, Ninetales could switch in, but I don't think he'll want to, man if he can't. So I think I'm gonna Freeze Dry. So it stays in. If I get the Freeze, I can't use Poison. See, see. Body press does that kill? It doesn't. That's nice. That's really nice. So I can get a kill here with Dino Dave. If he wants to switch out, then that's fine. So Team Lu goes down, which means Moth is free. Moth is free. Um, he might go into the. Liver wing. Klefki won't outspeed. Gouge and Gary obviously will, but I don't think he'll want to take the damage on that thing. Manaphy could come in, but it'll have to attack me. Nine Tails could come in, but that's fine, because that means the Sun Tans are going to wear out soon. And I think I go Moth if Nine Tails comes back in. So he's really going to struggle here to pick something to go into, I think. Uh, the pressure here is huge. Um, he doesn't necessarily know I'm... He probably does know I'm specs, actually, but... It's not a 6-0. We take those. Uh, Ting Lu is dead. So he goes Sliver Wing. Um, he's, okay, so he takes the spikes. And he gets the Protosynthesis, which is going to be the attack. And is he going to lock himself into what? Is he scarfed? I can't switch into this thing, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to sack it. But now he actually hasn't got an Iron Moth switch in. He actually hasn't got a switch in to a Sludge Wave. So if he is scarfed and click close combat, then that's fine. Um, or if he's light ball, he's not speed booster. So to outspeed me, he has to be choice scarfed. Freeze dry damage on this thing would be amazing. He could click first impression, but then we don't know if he's going to be choiced or not. Alright, so he's choiced scarfed into close combat. So Dino Dave goes down, which is fine. So Sliverwing gets a kill. Dino Dave, you punched holes into what you were meant to punch holes into. So we now go Moth. I just need chip on that key. Just, just need chip on that key. Um, so if I go Moth onto Sliver Wing, you are choiced into close combat. Holy shit, you are not banded there. Get that out of here. You are Protosynthesis. Protosynthesis active. Oh my god, close combat does a lot more than I thought. Um, you could be adamant. You don't know that yet. Um, so, Fiery Dance will kill you here, because you're a minus one. Uh, Sludge Wave will not. It will be 50 to 59. So I think I click Fiery Dance. If you whip draws, which is fine. What would you go into? You go into this. Are you Scarfed? Are you Scarfed? So do I get the damage boost? The special attack boost? I get the special attack boost. He's boots. He's boots. 
because he didn't take spikes damage. So if I now, if you are gouging fire, fiery dance, so you uninvested does 15 to 18. So you are invested. So sludge wave doesn't quite kill. Doesn't quite kill. Do I make the prediction and click sludge wave here? And just get damage on this thing. Is <laughs> if your max HP 13 to 15, it's up to 63 to 74. I'm going to click Sludge Wave. Whether that's a misplay or not, he withdraws. What does he go into? Does he predict? He predicts something. So we made a play. Heal. That's the click. That's fine. That's fine because I am Lumberry. So if he wants to um, T Wave me, go for it, my friend. Sunlight fades. I am going to just get a free Fiery Dance off here. If he wants to Thunder Wave me, go for it. So actually, the fact that I had the balls to stay in there was huge. Because um, he's now in a really bad position. Well, I get another special attack boost as well. Um, I don't think he can kill. Okay, Lumberry. Lumberry. We predicted the Thunder Wave, so we are Lumberry. Clef, he goes down. Uh, and now, Gal. Uh, Clef, he goes down. Moth gets a kill. Cool. Do I get the special attack? I do. I'm at plus two. Okay. So all he has now is Scarfed Sliverwing. It's not in the sun. What, what the hell does Sliverwing learn? Team Builder, new team, add Pokemon, Sliver Win. What do you do that? You get Zen Headbutt. It does get Earthquake. Which I think he has to click. So I'm going to go Gastrodon. Because this thing is still hella useful like super useful um agility wins now i think he clicks it right that's fine um does he now go manaphy does he now go manaphy i think the switch into shaman is free because if he stays in he clicks that right what's he got left he's got nine tails manaphy tinglu this thing He doesn't stay in. Where does he go? He goes Manaphy if he goes anything here. So I'm going to go into Shaman. If he goes into Gouging Fire here, fair play. Um, he goes Manaphy on this thing every time though. So Firefly, which is Manaphy, which is perfect. Um, so he takes the spikes. Has he left these? We'll find out. Um, Seed Flare here. He's not lefties, which is great. So this means that Moth is going to be really important to keep this thing in check. Do I click Baton Pass here? Um, do I click Seed Flare? What are you going to go into? Are you going to go into Nine Tails again? Sliverwing won't take it. Gouging Gary might. Um, Gonna click Earth Power because he withdraws. So what's he gonna go into? Is he gonna go into? He goes Nine Tails. Will this kill? Not quite. Not quite. 
Oh, that's annoying. I think he only gets one more turn of sun. So what's important here? Sliverwing, Gouge and Gary, Manaphy, Nine Tails. I think. I feel as though Urshifu is the sack. Because he's scarfed on Slipwing, so I can't do anything to that. I might be faster than the Gouge and Gary, but the chip on that thing is good. Um, I'm gonna sack off Macho Man. I think that's my play. If he switches out here, then that's fine. Um, he doesn't know, well actually he'll know I'm defensive because I don't have any defense in the Shaman. So I, I look like an absolute fucking god right now. Um, I understand why he did it. Do I suck a punch? Do I acrobatics? What do I do here? Go to click sucker. We kill it. Okay, so fires, fires, that's two turns of fire gone. He knows I have sucker. I let Urshifu die here. If he wants to go for close combat, that's fine. This fucking Sliverwing, man. This fucking Sliverwing is a pain in the ass. Um, he's gonna have to click a fighting move. It does get the attack boost. We're gonna click. See, I wish I wish he wasn't scarf because I could reveal the acrobatics tech for this thing. I bought acrobatics because defensive Sliverwing was actually really good in my team. So I'm gonna click Sucker Punch. Um, gonna get as much chip on this thing as I can. Then, how much? Does. That does a lot. That done way more than I expected. Oh, that was a crit, that's why. Um, how much does close combat do in the sun? So you're not banded, you're probably adamant. How much does close combat do to Cleaver? 62 to 74%. So. Crits me. He ki he he kills me. Basically, we're going for game. We're going for game. This thing switch ins are limited. Um, I click agility. I click agility. If he swaps out, incredible. If he stays in. I click agility. Can you crit me? Huh? I'm so confused right now. Have I not? I've got Protosynthesis active. Ah, oh, the calcs don't have max attack. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am so angry at myself right now. Shit. That's annoying. I just threw away Cleaver for nothing. Um, the calc I had this time was the bulky pivot and not the choice band. So it didn't have attack investment. So that's bad. I'm gonna click Fiery Dance. I'm off should live any hit. Oh, that's that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Uh, so Sliverwing's got all the kills, I think. He saves it. Okay. He saves it. He goes Manaphy. So if I can get a specially, special, was a special attack boost we had here? I don't think so after that. We get the boost again, so this this will definitely kill, unless he is, of course, the Rindo Berry, which he could be, but I think Iron Moth's done its job. So I'm not sure if I'm uh, I'm so annoyed. So, Moth, wait, hang on, there. she forgot the kill, and it's dead. At this point, shame, terrifier shaman does does work. It does a lot of work. I need to keep Gastron alive for the. Um, 
and he's got two more switch ins, which is not enough. Is the sun gonna fade anytime soon? No. We sack Shaman. We sack Shaman. I terrify her. Um, if he clicks close combat, it's a free turn into Iron Moth. It's a free turn into Iron Moth. I have to remember. I think then, I, I think we're in a good position. Manaphy dies. Nine Tails is dead. If I can get another spike up as well, this thing dies on the next entry. Um, I could terrify, I mean, terrify a Shaman. We keep this thing because we outspeed the gouging fire. Do you click Earthquake and predict the Shaman entry? Don't. Okay, this is great. Um, I think I could ton pass. I'm slower. I don't know how much earth power does. Um, I'm not sure how much earth power does. Is earth power just a play here? Do I put on pass out into Gastrodon? He's not staying in, surely not. He can't. Plus I take the earthquake anyway, so he does. He does. Okay. Okay. That's fine. The earthquakes can do a lot less now. So if I can get up in that spine. Okay. This thing just dies eventually. I'm kind of so if he wants to switch out and save this thing. No more sun, no more photosynthesis. Spikes is free. I'm, just, I'm clicking spikes. He has to switch out into gouging fire, and I just spam clear smog until it kills me. I just spam clear smog until it kills me. I'm so scared he's weakness policy. No, is he boots? Did we establish his boots already? If I can get a spikes up, this thing dies on entry. I'm, I'm convinced. Okay, he stays in. You. Okay. So I don't think I die to a crit. I'm clicking recover and recover next turn. Um, I think we're in a good place. I think we're in a good place. Snivelwing out of the... I knew this thing was going to be a threat to me in prep. Like... I just knew it was. Just don't crit me, please. Although saying that shaman can come in. So I don't think a crit is the end of the world. It just makes it ten times harder. Um, we click recover. We spam... Spam moves, spam things. He withdraws the sliver wing. Okay. Now we click clear smog over and over again. Does he have more than sun? He's boots, he's a hundred percent boots. Okay. I just, I forgot this thing gets more in the sun, doesn't it? He's boots, so he's not weak in this policy, so Earth Power is free. And DDs, which is fine. Don't think a plus one. This thing can really do much to me. So we took Earth Power. That's a lot, Jesus. Gastrodon. We are max defense, so, um... Gouging Fire Dragon Dance. Plus one Adamant. Earthquake only does 40%. Flare Blitz does 37 max. Heat Crash will do. Heat Crash will do 37 max. So I think I'm free just to click out power again. Yeah, you, you won't kill me. 
Yeah, that does nothing. And outside of the sun, Gastrodon is just putting in an absolute shift again. Um, Counting Gary goes down. Gastrodon gets the kill. I think Moth got two. Uh, and it's still alive. Kiram got one. Shame is still alive. Cleaboard just fucking did nothing and died. Um, did die to spikes? Please die to spikes. Oh, he's he fucking lived. Oh, he lived the spikes. This is bad. We click Earth Power and we hope. He clicks close combat. Don't crit me. We live. Fucking let, let's go. Let's go. After last week, I really fucking needed that result. Oh my god. Slivering is a fucking problem. Excuse my French right now, but that is a Rio win. Gastrodon putting in an absolute shift. Clefty, yeah, so Slivering got all three kills for Ricky in this game. Holy shit. That was that was a game. Shaman did nothing. Gastrodon. Gastro? Ga Gastro? Yeah, Gastrodon got two kills. 2-0 for the Gastro. Sadly, I think Gastrodon is now approaching like my MVP, which is funny. But yeah, that's the game. That was a really good game, Ricky. Um, I honestly thought I had a terrible matchup coming into this. That sliver wing was actually terrifying. Um, I think that play into Urshifu on the Psy Shock admittedly was a fluke. But that was a huge turning point because that sucker punch kill meant no more fire. And it was just about stalling out the turns of the uh, Sliverwing. And the fact that Shaman hadn't had to terror at that point meant Earthquake close combat mind games were, you know, possible. So, really good game, Ricky. It's supposed to be 2-0, I, I think, against him in, in record, like, face-to-face, head-on records. But, um, yeah, I mean, if I hadn't have fucked up with Cleavor, Cleavor potentially could have done something as well. But my I picked the wrong set on the calcs, so... Agility Cleavor would have just absolutely cleaned up his team once Klefki died, so never know. Um, maybe next week it might be able to do its thing, but that puts us four and three. So if we get a result against Vepsis, that will pretty much guarantee us playoffs. Um, if we go four and four after losing to Vepsis, I think I'm on like a minus two KD at the moment, so it's going to be touch and go as to whether we make it, but I won't have gone negative throughout the season. I had a lot of private shit going on the last few weeks, as I mentioned in my last video, actually, I think. Um, so it's just nice to get something positive, you know, a win in this game. So I'm rambling. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you for possibly what may be the last week of the PPL season next week against Vexis and the Copenhagen somethings. I've forgotten what it is, but we'll be there. See you next time. Bye.